Welcome to Humankind, session 14 of my initial noob run of Humankind. Uh, let's take a quick look at the uh, screen here. I'm showing you Angkor Wat, which I built a couple of uh, sessions ago. Uh, you'll notice there's a couple of uh, flashing artifacts. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Uh, now, if you turn the interface on, sorry, the heads up display on, you, you get a lot more information. And uh, this is Angkor Wat, gives you a whole bunch of science, a whole bunch of stability, and quite a bit of faith in food. So it's a it's a great wonder to build. Where I'm at right now in this uh, run here is I'm at turn 138. You look in the lower right, it tells you what the turn is. Uh, this is a 150 turn game. Uh, when you set up a game, you can tell it if you want it to be, uh, I think the shortest one is 75, then 150, 300. I think there's a 600. Uh, and that influences things like uh, how fast the science is uh, generated and how fast food is generated. Um, uh, now, I picked a fairly short 150-turn game, uh, although it's taken me over a week to uh, get through it. I've only been able to put in a couple hours a day, so we'll see what happens this turn here. Let's go out, and I will zoom out, and you can see my empire. There's the city that, that I was looking at. It's called Captain Hardship. Zooming out a little bit more. Uh, the way the interface works, it gives you kind of an overview. And then it keeps flashing uh, stuff up. Uh, the pop-ups are a little annoying. But anyway, so the green stuff is me. Uh, this, These are the original two continents. I'll just keep zooming out a little bit. So the original two continents. Uh, me, my first city was uh, Patrickville. Then I had City of uh, West Dirt and then Captain Hardship on what's considered to be another continent, I believe. Uh, and then I've got uh, there are four civilizations in total, so there are three other civilizations. Uh, the Poles uh, down here in the southern part of this continent, and then the other continent has, uh, um, again, the uh, UI is a little tough to handle sometimes, but uh, there's the orange people and the red people. Now, the last turn, I... Uh, the last hundred turns or so, I've known that there's this uh, a city out here because I spent a lot of, uh, not city, but the continent out there, I spent a lot of time and money and effort uh, sending ships out uh, to see what's going on. Found this new city, or found this new continent, and then I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see, oh, sorry, let me zoom out. You can see that I've got the entire uh, west coast of that new continent, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. That happened a couple turns ago, and if you zoom in, I've, I have three cities. I have North City with seven pop, Stone Love with uh, four pop, and uh, Jeanjou with uh, four pop, four populations as well. Stone Love, uh, of course, is on a territory that's 100% rocky fields or stone fields, except there's one dry grass here. Um, those cities have uh, so much population. Again, I just started them uh, four or five turns ago, and they've already got a huge pop. That's because of the settler mechanic. So if you're doing humankind, check out the settlers. Uh, that might be worth rushing if you know that you've got a, a, a new world in your map. Uh, so let's go. I'm going to do a turn here. Uh, just at the end of last session, I uh, uh, sent click the new turn button. So now I've got all the stuff that the UI tells me. The way I'm running this game is I'm just going to not just, but I'm going to let the UI tell me what things I need to worry about, and I'm not going to go in and overly optimize uh, things. So the UI, there are no notifications. Normally, there's some notifications here when you when you start a new turn. So I usually I pop into those. And now here are the other types of notifications. Uh, sorry, there's urgent affairs, idle cities, and four idle armies. So I'll take three idle cities. Uh, and get them working on something. So right here, um, I'm a little shy on influence. I'm getting 326 per turn, but I, I just I need so much influence for my civics. Uh, I would like to do something that would help me uh, with influence, and I don't see anything. I think I've built all of the influence structures. Uh, the nice thing about these structures is they've got a little icon up up on top that'll tell you what what they'll do for you or what area they're good for. I probably should build some units, uh, but there are only 12 turns left in the game. Uh, I've been worried for almost 80 or 90 turns about a war with... Let me zoom out again. Zoom, 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 zoom. 
uh, these the orange people here, uh, they've completely culturally uh, dominated Captain Hardship and forced me to change a, a f three or four civics, which since I've got about ten is a, is a huge huge impact on my civics. I've gone ahead and with uh, I've gone ahead and just agreed to that so that they wouldn't get mad and invade me. Um, also in this game I'm I'm not trying to min max, so I didn't mind when they changed the civics. When, when uh, the orange people forced me to change my civics. Uh, one of the things I want to do with this particular run is go in and see if there's any... Uh, or just kind of experience everything. So I experienced uh, a new civ. Hey, here we go. Kledersk. Kledersk. It's good to have you on board here. I'm giving a quick overview of where I am. Uh, I'm the green guys here. Uh, the orange guys have so much more. Hey, thanks a lot. Have, have a good day yourself. Uh, you can look here. The orange guys have so much more fame. They've got 5,333. I've got 3,970. They've got six era stars in the early early moderns. So the next era star they get, they'll be eligible to go to the industrial era. I've got two era stars in the early modern. Uh, the guys below me, I think the blue guys are in the early modern. And I think the fourth place guys are still in the medieval. So they've got four stars in the medieval. It's going to take them a long time to catch up. Again, there are only 12 turns left in this game. Uh, so let me jump in and, and just start doing stuff. Um, so I clicked on this uh, three idle cities, so it will tell me what to do, or so it'll tell me what I need to do. Um, so I can help building the Taj Mahal. Uh, my food is zero. Why the hell is my, okay? My food is zero. Why is my industry zero? I'm not. Oh, I'm okay. So I'm doing this, Josan which takes industry and money and converts it into science. Okay, so the industry and money are zero because they're being moved over into science. So, yeah, so that doesn't have any effect here. So I've got one more uh, slot I can, one more slot I can put a specialist in. Uh, I've got four specialists now. I used to have three. So now I'm generating 10 food because each specialist generates 10. I'll take one guy out just to show you. Uh, so I took one guy. I've only got three guys generating uh, food. My food is at uh, zero. So, okay. So nothing I do here has any effect because I've got this um, um, active bonus for the Joseon. I'll talk a little bit more about that later if you want. Okay, so that's one city. Okay, so now I've moved him around. I have to decide what to do. Um, he's got 13 pop out of a total of 18. I could probably build another let me zoom out here a little bit. And this tells me... Wait, no, 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 no. Go away. Uh, this one right here. So this tells me what kind of uh, um, districts, I'm sorry, or quarters I've already built. Uh, the uh, So I have three research quarters. I have three commons quarters. I have one farmer's quarter. And these white ones, I forget what they are. Main plaza, yeah. So I would, probably wouldn't kill me to build another farmer's quarter, but uh, let me... Probably the reason I did that is because there aren't any good... See, the only good uh, common quarters left is uh, to increase in five food. I don't know. Whoops. I don't think that's that exciting. I could go here and get an increase in 14 of industry. So all I'm doing is clicking on the possible quarters I could build and then looking at the interface. The interface will tell me what it thinks. The interface will tell me which... Uh, tile gives you the most um, the most uh, either uh, industry or farming or uh, science um, so there's 14 there's 6 there's 24 okay so I can kind of see why I'm building all these science quarters here because uh, there's a lot of good effects I mean there's a lot of good um, bonuses for building science here. So I'm going to go ahead and build science there. So now I go look at my tell the UI and tell me what to do. It says I have three idle cities still. That's not correct. This guy's... Okay, this guy's going to... Sorry. I kind of screwed up. I've got the uh, active bonus for the Joseon, which takes away all of the industry and all the money. So it, it doesn't really matter what I'm trying to build because it'll never, it'll never build it. It's taking all the industry and putting it into science. That's why the science is 371. The money and industry are zero. Okay, so uh, it says three idle cities, so I'm just going to have to get used to that. Here's the second idle city. 
Now, this does not have the collective minds thing set up. So I do have industry, money, and science, and I've got plenty of food coming out here. Um, so let me take a quick look at the kind of cities. I've got one industrial or maker's quarter, and then one harbor, which I think is pretty pretty much good for money. Um, so I did, okay, so I built a train station. I'd like to build another train station just for fun, just to make sure that the stuff, the train station thing works, but we're right next to each other. So it's kind of silly to do that. Um, so I'll do the same thing I did before where I just click on a maker's, uh, click on a quarter and it tells me which one is the best tile. So that gives me 28. And then I'll go back in here and say 16. So do I want uh, 16 food, which you can see up here, you can see up there, or do I want uh, 18 Sorry, 28 industry. So, or do I want five gold or 23 science or all this other stuff here? Um, 23. So, I think I'll just as a uh, there's 28, just kind of as a real quick um, rule of thumb, I'm just going to pick whatever gives me the most of whatever. So, there's 28. So, that guy's going to take one turn. I'll take another turn. So I'll build, uh, so I've got two turns of construction queued up there. And my next idle city is West Dirt. So that does not have the bonus of the uh, collective mind set up. So I do have some industry, industry, so I can build something. I can help on the Taj Mahal. Science. Okay, so I need I need population because you can see I can I can uh, I, I've got space for four more uh, people in the city and all of my specialists except for money have plenty of room to grow. So I probably should do something that helps growing. So let me just see. So twelve. So I could gain 12 food and lose two industry or just straight up gain 10 food. Um, I'll just go with the food this time. Put it right there for no particular reason. So that's going to take three turns. So I'm good on West Dirt. So now I've got one idle city, Jeanjou. That's my new city out here in the new world. I'm, I'm real happy with this city. This was built by a settler. Uh, so what does he need? He's got plenty of food. Okay, so there's nothing that cries out that he needs something. Um, maybe I'll just go in and... and okay, so here's another train station. I, I think I'm going to build another train station. Okay, so you can build them almost anywhere. So I'm going to build a train station way far away from the city. like right here, just for fun. And then I'm going to see if I can get a, uh, a unit loaded in this city and then get it up to this train station here in one with one movement point. So in a game, I wouldn't be doing this, but uh, I, I now I kind of realize that uh, I kind of knew the train stations could be built anywhere in the territory. Uh, this one here I built as part of the uh, city. You can see it's inside the city walls. Um, I did that because that helps these industrial quarters somehow. Industry from tile, industry from adjacent quarter, industry from infrastructure. And let's see what's going on here. Okay, so I, so this uh, train station gives me plus 10 industry from the adjacent maker quarters. So maybe it's five for each thing it's adjacent to. Um, and it's right at the at the uh, top of this territory here. So I can get from here all the way down to here once this train station is built in one movement point. All right, so I now have no idle uh, cities. I'm gonna go in and click the next thing, which is idle armies. Now well, I'm doing this neat thing that I kind of stumbled into almost literally. I really love to explore on the, on the Navy. So I sent a couple of ships out and then what happens is, as you're sailing and uh, uncovering the fog of war, sometimes you'll get uh, discovery. So there'll be a, a, a 
a tile with a um, with a little hourglass on it, and if you go run over that hourglass, you get uh, money or science or influence. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so my next idle army is this guy. So I'm going to have him... Where the hell am I? See, I'm sharing maps with this uh, civilization here, and they apparently have uh, some sort of site on this area. So I, that's not unknown. Um, yeah, I'll just send him out, he, this ship out here. Okay, there we go. So that's the discovery I was talking about. Um, so I've been through this part of the ocean uh, probably five or ten times before. So these discoveries keep popping up. And so I think once you leave and the fog of war rolls back in, and then you go back and discover and go back and open the fog of war, there's a there's a, a possibility that the that the uh, Discoveries will pop up again, which I don't know if that's... It, it seems like I'm getting a... Okay, so I got a wreck, 150. You can see I got 150 uh, influence and then 100 science. So I didn't check while that was going on, but this blue thing with the science should have popped up a little bit. And then 150 extra influence. Again, I didn't check, but I can go back and take a look at the video and see what's going on. So I can just kind of go back and forth in this ocean here with this ship and the fog of war pops up as soon as you leave. Um, and then you just go back through the fog of war and see if you can find any more discoveries. Uh, again, I think that might be a little, a little overpowered right now, but uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Okay, I've got two more idle armies, one of which is oh, this guy. So I've got a open borders treaty with uh, this, the purple people, which I think are the Poles right now. So I'm just running my um, running my armies through their territory just to see if they do anything about it. So this is a research quarter, and I think I could, if I wanted to, I could ransack. I, I could claim the territory. I think there's one territory out here that's still claimable, like this guy right here. Um, I would go out there and claim this territory. In fact, I had some people on the way to do that. But this guy came here and attacked. So I think what I'm going to do is just have this guy sit around until I see this guy leave. And then try to... I'll have this guy try to slide over and get to this island and claim that territory here. Okay, so there's another ship. Um, you can see the fog of war... I think I'll just head north into the fog of war, see what I can find. Uh, let me head over here. Okay, no discoveries. Uh, I think I'm hitting, getting about 50% hit rate on the discoveries. Um, that, again, I said that, that said that several times, it seems a little high. So my next thing that the UI is telling me to do is click on this urgent affairs thing. I click on the urgent affairs thing, and there's a kind of a random uh, role-playing game pop-up. Trans-oceanic trade is flourishing. So I think what happens is uh, these, these uh, uh, choices are triggered by something in the game, would be my guess, uh, obviously. Um, like I've created something on a new continent, they can tell that. Uh, pirates. Pirates are coming to Patrickville. So I have a choice. If, if, I, if I pick this choice, I go to um, Homeland. And if I pick this choice, I go to Individualism. Um, but I think for this particular run, I've decided not to pay any attention to the names that the developers use and just look at the effect. So this, if I pick this, it has no effect on the civics. Um, of course, that pop-up goes away once you uh, try to find it. But if you know what they're talking about... Okay, so here's the secure. And that also has no effect on the civics. Now, it does have an effect on overproduction or a new army. And I lose money. So let me just see... What does this mean? So I get more... 20% more industry for five turns in Patrickville. Or I get a new army and I lose 200 
gold. So I, I would have no problem losing 200 gold and I would have no problem getting a new army. Let me get out of here for a second and go to Patrick Fell and say industry, I'm doing 538. So that's a crap load of industry. Um, and I could increase that by f seven times four, which is 28, which is pretty good. Why don't I go ahead and do that? Okay, so I've got as many specialists do in industry as I possibly can. I've got as many specialists in food as I possibly can. I kind of took out of the money, so you can see my money per turn went down. Uh, the reason I did, the reason I put stuff into industry, wait, what was my industry again? 567. So when, if I go here and pick this 20% uh, industry, that should give me uh, an extra 100 industry. So now we go here and I should have, ooh, 587. Okay, so I'm not seeing that 50% uh, increase or. Huh, I'm not seeing whatever it was I was supposed to see. Five eighty seven. Yeah, that should be like seven hundred if I get twenty percent more. Uh, let me go to a new turn. A one idle army. Okay, so I'll have him do the uh, search for gold stuff or search for discoveries. Sorry. Okay, so it looks like my hit rate these days is uh, one out of three or one out of four. Okay, so I can go to my my new turn and see if the new grievance. Friends. So the Mongols have. Okay, so we have a grievance that uh, this city. Uh, Ruan, which happens to be on the on the New World, um, I can just say, "Hey, it's mine," which kind of makes sense because uh, I actually kind of view it as mine. So I can demand that they give Ruan, uh, which kind of makes sense. I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not really a, a war guy, uh, but I, I'm ahead of this guy. I do have a little bit more war support than he does, and I think if I needed to, I could pop up and uh, crank out a bunch of armies and come over here and kick his kick his rear end. So I'll just do that. They're doing that, you owe me territory. Unpleasant as these demands are. Oh my gosh, he gave me the city. Oh man. <sighs> nice. Okay. So Stone Love started without a religion, um, and they converted to the Harappan shamanism. Uh, which there's a long story behind that, but uh, that's what they did. Okay, I've got an osmosis event. Let me get out of this interface here. S oh, so I got another territory, and that that clicked over to an a, an era star. I'll show that in a second. Okay, so I got like a zillion. Okay, so here's the osmosis. Where's the osmosis event? Okay, so I'm here on the osmosis event. I've had a whole bunch of uh, times doing that. Uh, if you look at the cultures, uh, I'm switching all the way out. Um, this is the territory that, that uh, the orange people own and the green is the territory that I, that I own. In fact, you can see all that green over there. Uh, but if you switch over to the society, you can see there's a lot more orange because the um, orange people have a lot of fame. I think it's fame or uh, probably influence. They probably have a whole bunch of influence, although I don't know how to see how much that is. They have a lot of influence or fame and they're using that or this, there's a mechanic in the game that uh, passively uses that. So right now, uh, my society here is 38% Celtic and then the rest is... Uh, Adonasi. Uh So, so that is driving these. Uh, get out of here. 
that is driving these osmosis events because what happens is uh, my people are talking so much to that other uh, culture that they that they pick up on a, a lot of uh, interesting things that are going on in particular science so 657 science when i click ok if you look down here in the lower left i'm uh four turns away from combustion engine and you can see i'm about at uh, four four o'clock on the on the number of blue stuff so as soon as i click this button here the blue dial will go a little bit around okay so that was what uh what happened there uh let's see so i think i've looked at all the other okay so what, what i want to do is zoom back out and this is a territory thing and then zoom over here and so they gave me run i imagine they're pretty ticked at me but you know what I, I i think i earned that so now i need to go into run and see what the hell is going on um let me zoom in on run okay so they've got they're low on food they're doing okay on all the rest of this stuff um, I'm going to take a money and put him over here so he's at the max in terms of uh, specialists helping on food. That gets his food into the positive territory. And I'll pop down here and I get one pop every seven turns. That's legitimate. Uh, right now he's seven out of 13. So I would, I would like... What the hell is this thing? Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, my crude AI over here, let me f fire up the AI. Uh, I'm trying to go through things on a fast pace. One of the things that I do is if it's possible to build a uh, uni an emblematic district, I will build it. So I've got an emblematic district in all the other territories. Uh, this is my emblematic, emblematic district. So I'm going to build it in this territory, and then I just use the... Um, interface to let it tell me where a good place to build it is so if i build it here i get 19 science and then six influence so i mentioned i'm kind of interested in getting influence so i'm going to build this uh, district here and that's going to take me three turns so i've got another idle city this is stone love uh that was my middle city before that I, that I built the uh, railroad station on. I finished up the industry. So this still has 10 industry from adjacent maker's quarters title. So I maybe should have put this, um, in this uh, maker's quarter here, right up next to the, right up next to the railroad. Uh, it would have increased the, uh, I think it would have increased the industry output from the railroad. So let's see. Okay, so they say if I put it here, I get 32. Yeah, and you can see as I zoom into the railroad that the railroad is currently making 10, uh, 10 industries. So it's going to make 15 more because it gets five for every adjacent maker's quarter. And then each one of these other quarters, it looks like they get three more for being adjacent to a uh, maker's quarter. And then the, the, uh, quarter itself makes another 18 it was making two industry now it's going to make 20 so i will do that that is one turn so i probably should build something else uh the food looks okay five out of 19 i think i will pop somebody over here just so i can get more population so i get a population every two turns uh, so I should start building up my 5 out of 19. 5 out of 19 is a little small. I think I've done this before. I thought, well, I should build an in, a, uh, a farmer's, a farmer's uh, quarter, but the best that farmer's quarter can do is three food, which is just absolutely pathetic. Uh, but I knew that going in. This whole territory, if you look at it, let me... Uh, this whole territory here is all stone fields. Um, so it's going to be a real tough to have this uh, territory support itself with food. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to handle that. but uh, So that's an interesting way uh, humankind is different from some, from some of the other games like Civ 6 and Civ 5 and Civ 4 and Civ 3 and Civ 2 and then Civ. Uh, speaking of Civ, 
here's the original civilization, which was at that time was called civilization because they never, they had no idea it was going to be, there was going to be a Civ 2. Okay, so um, I'm good on this. Let me get the uh, diff display back. Okay, anyway, I've got one turn. I probably should build, let's see, what else? So, so I think I've done this before. Eight, food, um, copper mine. Let me just go ahead and build a copper mine next. That'll give me some science. And then an artisan's quarter. That does almost nothing for me. Um, so I could probably should start building some infrastructure. Uh, here, oh, here we go. I need this food infrastructure. The problem is that it's going to take me 15 turns to build, so I'm not. I'm going to stay away from that, unfortunately. Uh, science infrastructure, eight turns. Yeah, those turns are just too... Oh, shoot. Uh, my stability. Oh, dang it. Okay, so... Okay, my stability is going down on all of these cities. Okay, so I'm building too many... Okay, so I didn't have this problem on the main uh, on my main island, so that's why I wasn't really paying much attention to this. This stability is going to kill me, so I'm going to I'm going to not build this maker's quarter. Whoops! I am going to unbuild this. So how do I get rid of it? Okay, so I'm building a copper mine. But why is my stability still going down? Maker's Harbor train station, Sewan. Okay, so I need to build some... I don't need to build this copper mine. How do, okay, there it is, trash. Uh, I need to build something that will help me with stability, which is a garrison. No, not... not yeah, garrison and give me five stability. A commons quarters will give me stability per, per adjacent... So that would be Ah, oh, this would be perfect. Um okay, so get out of the way. So 12 stability plus 2 stars. Okay. So I don't see any particular... I, I think I'll not put it next to the train station. I'll just put put it right here. So I should get 12 stability from this guy. Um, and then maybe build another one over here and get another 12 stability. All right. So we'll see if that helps my stability here. I didn't, I didn't even notice I was doing that. So this stability is going to go down to 84. I'm building a research quarter. Um, boy, I've already put 18 in it. Let me move that out. Let me build a, so this gives me seven stability. I'll put it there and I will move it ahead of the research quarter. And in fact, I will, I will get rid of that research quarter because that's going to cost me stability. So, um, so this is turn 139. That's the first time I've ever had to worry about stability in any of my cities. That's why it kind of caught me by surprise. Um, I think that's the way the stability mechanic is supposed to work, that uh, you're supposed to pay more attention to it. But let me go back to uh, Patrickville. I've had this... Pa oh, geez. Okay, so something's going on here. Like, Oh, my God. This is crazy. Um... So I think I hit the limit of uh, stability without knowing it. So I've, I've, I've gone 138 turns without having any stability problems. Um, but now I finally built enough quarters that uh, it's it's killing it here. So I need to... I'm spending all this time on the Taj Mahal. Look, so it looks like I need some more of these guys. So what... Where do they want me to build this?
Uh, I'm trying to find the place where it says is the best place to build. Okay, here it is right here. So this gives me 12 stability. What am I building? I'm building something. No, I'm not building anything there already. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and build that and then switch it out with the Taj Mahal. This will this will go up in one turn. So I'll get 12 stability. That'll get me to 84. And then let me build another one. Uh, here we go. Seven stability. Ugh. I guess I don't have a lot of choice. Build it there. That'll be my second thing. So it'll take two turns to build these uh, uh, commons quarters, and then we'll go back to the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is suspended right now because that was the only city that was... Patrickville was the only city that was... Um, Okay, sorry for jerking around a lot, but the uh, there's no uh, there's no mini map to zip to someplace. So this guy's has a huge problem. Um, I'm building a farmer's quarter. I am going to pause that and build some of these. Okay, there I'm getting twelve, and then the next one is seven. All right, um, I'll move the. Might just put a hold on that. Okay, so this will get me up to uh, 70 maybe. Okay, what else can I build that gives me stability? Yeah, so I was way off on the stability thing. Here we go. 5% stability on garrison. I don't know what that means. Oh, I can't build it anyway for some reason. Here's a public fountain, 15 stability. Okay, so I probably should build this first. Okay, that'll take two turns. Uh, this would take, yeah, so this will take one turn for 12. That's the one I'm building, right? And then, then I'll build this, and then I'll build... Then I'll build the public fountains, and then I'll build the seven turn common, the seven influ seven stability commons quarters. So that should get me up around eighty, maybe. And then I'm almost certainly going to have to not do this quarters here. Uh, what else do we have? Plus five stability. Um, let me throw that on there. Okay, so uh, I completely ignore. I I spent a lot of time in, early in the game looking at stability. I kept, I kept thinking, oh, something's you know that's a huge mechanic, and they and uh, it seems like it it's really intended to um, make sure you don't overproduce these quarters. But I just like I said, for 138 turns, I just built quarters like nobody's business. Um, I'll have to go in and figure out why that happened, but uh, it did. So. There we go. Now I'm going to have to move my armies. Same deal. I'm just going to look for uh, discoveries in the uh, fog of war. Okay, kind of going at random. Don't see any discoveries. Uh, let me go to the next guy. So I have him move around here, try to find discoveries. Nope. Nope. All right. So this guy, I'll have him splart around, see what's going on. Boy, no discoveries. So zero for three so far. Okay, this guy, I want him to go over to here, claim this territory. So to, he thinks the quickest way to get there is to pop down to here. Oh, let me look at uh, the stability on this. Ah, geez, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Um, this is a complete surprise to me.
Okay, so the save one is going to cost me eight stability. It, it drops it down ten and increases it two. I'm going to have to hold off on that and in, in, instead build this guy here. Man, only get seven stability. Okay. Uh, any infrastructures that will help me with my stability? What about that fountain? City watch. Here we go, fountain. Okay, so I will do the fountain first. And then the commons quarters. So that should give me 15 stability plus 7 stability. Which is 22, which will get me back in the 80s. And then I'll worry about this guy later, four turns from now. Hey, you know what? Let me go act. Let me just get rid of it for now. And I'll worry about stability in a little bit. So here's a ship that I want to... Where the hell is he? Okay. I will have him run around. Again, trying to find discoveries. Uh, I spent a lot of time talking about how great the discoveries were, but I haven't found any this turn. What does that mean? Nobody knows. Okay, my next army is down. Okay, that's this guy. He's got four moving points left. Um, but if you're a land unit and you want to go into the ocean, it takes all of your movement points. So you have to... S Not all of your remaining movement points, but all of your movement points. Um, and you have to have the technology in order for a land unit to turn into a... Uh, ship, you have to have the transport, which is way back here. Uh, da, 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 say, it has to be this. No, it has to be this trade expeditions. So trade expeditions gives you this transport gallery, which is not, I eventually found out, a ship that you can build. It's what your land units turn into once you put them on the ocean. So these guys, I can't do anything about them right now. Let me turn off the tech tree. I'll just have them wait till next turn. And I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. See what happens. See how my guys are doing. Five commons quarters. This should be a city as stable as bedrock. Okay. Not sure exactly what he's talking about, but uh, trade route blocked. To what do I owe the pleasure? Okay, so this these these are the poles. That's the other... Uh, I don't know what's going on. So I guess... Your empire is very impressive. But it is not yet the most impressive. First place still eludes you. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Or they just told me there's a, some sort of problem. A link for commerce. Holy Commutions. crap. This, the Iron Horse supplants its four-legged predecessor. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this was my, I guess, my second um, a railway station finished. And now that I have two of them, I get 100 fame. So my fame has popped up a little bit. That's good. And I've, I've got, I've picked up an Aerostar, so that helps my fame too. I'll go look at that a little bit later. Uh, the Poles and the Mongols started an alliance. West dirt converted to Harappan. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, these When these colonies started, they did not have a religion. So they're going to convert to whatever the major religion is in that area. Okay, so I've done all my notifications. I do want to look at the... What does this mean? Pollution. I have no idea what that means. It seems a little weird. Okay, so I've got an alliance with the Poles. It's stable. They love me. Let's see if there's anything I can do. I can't I can't uh, propose a new treaty for two turns, but I don't know what that customs things mean. And this shared logistics is a military thing, which I'm not particularly interested in. So I should come back in two turns and try to do this customs union. Um, the Mongols. So they not they not super happy, but I like scientific or cultural agreements. I'll propose and see what he has to say. He refuses it. 
Good for him. Now these are the guys that are going to win the game. And they're getting... So I've seen this tyrannical and they're getting ready to... Uh, this text that says they are the predator. They're going to kill you. Uh, I do have some army. Um, I do have some army, but if I think if they decided to, they could just come in and take over. Um, okay, so I don't want open demand. I don't want open borders anyway. I don't want to share maps. I don't. Uh, this would be nice. So my open demands. They're demanding that I convert. Oh yeah, I'll go ahead and do that because I've already done it. Pay the money. Uh, sure. Yeah. How do I do that? Um, okay, so I accepted all their demands. Um, I don't know exactly what happened there, but now I can ask them for a non-aggression pack. They are going to laugh at me, but... That's kind of a bad sign, but whatever. So, a new grievance, acknowledge. They refused my treaty. We just saw that another grievance and they refused my treaty we saw that earlier so a bunch of things happened this turn we are moving right along here move 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 okay so now i've got uh three idle cities so this guy here okay so his stability or our stability is back up to 90 or gonna wait it's at 98 and they think it's gonna drop down to 90 uh, what can I do for stability? Let's see. Here's a game. Okay, that just takes way too long. 12 turns. So I could build a steam frigate, but I don't have the appropriate uh, resources. Science, science, money, food. Dang, 48 turns. Um... Yeah, so that only gives me two stability. It's, that's just not worth it. Um, I'll just help work on the shared project. So I can't do too much. I can only contribute 39, which means it'll, it'll take uh, 50 turns to finish if I'm the only one doing it. But I don't really have anything else to do other than building this commons quarter. Can't build any more quarters because they're going to cut my uh, stability down below 90. Or maybe I could build this. Oh, plus two stability. Okay, so let me do this. Copper mine. Where is the copper mine? Copper mine is right here, next to the train station. There we go. I'm going to move that up. So I'll get the copper mine going and then start working on the um, Taj Mahal. The copper mine should give me two once it shows up here, so I should be up at 92. So that's something. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Two idols, the next idol city is this guy. So he's, he was whatever he was, and now it looks like I built this common quarter, and now my uh, stability is up to 91. So that kind of means I can't build any more. Ooh, coal. So I've got some coal there. I can't build any more districts because a district will cost me 10 stability plus two for a net of eight. That will get me below 90. If you look at this, it says uh, the state. Okay, so if I'm if I'm below ninety, I will have positive and negative events are equal likely to occur in this city. So I just think I want uh, no events. Okay, so same deal. Oh, that's a quarter. Here's a train station. I don't need. Does that hurt stability? Yes, it does. Oh, wait. This doesn't hurt stability. Plus two stability. I think I should build this. Yeah, so that says plus two stability. I'll build it here. And then I'll start working on the... Oh, here we, okay, that's that's not too bad. Games. I'll start working on the games just for stability. 
Yikes. So I'm all stability all day. Uh, his stability is getting up to 88. I'd, I'd like to get it over 90. So I just built this uh, commons quarters. Or what was that other thing that I built? There's these games. And there we go. Artisan's quarter and the copper mine. So let me build a copper mine. That'll give me science and a little bit of stability. And then let me build an artisan's quarter. That'll give me a little bit of stability. And then let me build another commons quarters. Yeah, that only gives me two. Oh, well, there's a 12, right? Yeah, see that? This would be nice, but it takes a place where if I built, if I did build an industry, I would get 32 industry. So I'm not going to build a commons quarter right next to the train station. All right. I think I'm in decent shape. Now I've got all these uh, ships. I'm going to sail around, see if I can find some discoveries. I had none yesterday, uh, last turn yesterday. And it's not looking good this turn either. Okay, who's my next guy? Who am I looking at? This guy? Why did he un unpin? Wait, I'm trespassing or they're trespassing? Oh, oh, he took over Captain Hardship. Oh my, I didn't even, wow. Wow, I did not even see that. So this guy is trespassing. Uh, okay. Well, let me get the heck, heck out of here. Um, okay, so I'm trespassing, but he won't let me leave. Oh, okay, there we go. So I think I can't... This was a glitch... That I saw uh, somewhere. Okay, so I can get out on the harbor. So I was telling you before about how uh, you have to use up all of your turns to get on the water. But if you have a harbor, which is right, um, you can see that little uh, anchor. Okay, so now it'll let me move because I'm getting out of his territory. There we go. And this guy, same deal will happen. So if I move inside, he'll say, no, I have to declare war. But if I move outside, he'll say, yeah, sure, go ahead and do that. So you can move through my territory if you're, if you're on your way out. But if you're just screwing around in my territory, then you that's not, that's not good. Okay, so these guys are going to be a bit more of a problem because I can't get them out in one turn. What, is, what does this say? I don't know what that symbol means. Please use English or some sort of language instead of this bizarre... I mean, it looks like a person with a helmet on with a spike on top. Come on. Come on, son. So it's not going to let me go... So it's not going to let me move because there's a... There's a person in the way, but I can't move that person out of the way. I will move that person out of the way, I, I, honestly. So I think that symbol means, hey, you're trying to hit, put two people in one territory. Dumbass. You can get all the way over. So I can't get over. Oh, there we go. Um, let's do that. I said, let's. What did he say? Oh, he's out of moves. How how could he be out of moves? And he's out of moves. Okay, well, fine. Um, fine, 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 fine. Where, where the hell am I? At? Okay, so I'm kind of near my own shores. No discovery. So the, the thing about Discovery Club is you should not talk about Discovery Club. I've learned. This guy, you know what? I'm going to sail around here and see what happens. Uh, there's a tribe of, of 
violent people in here. But I think I'll just kind of float around and see what's going on. See if they attack me. These guys right here. So if, if they've got that uh, lightning bolt on them, they'll attack. Even if you're exploring nearby. So I knew that. I shouldn't have done that. Now this guy, I'm going to pop into here. And then eventually I'm going to go over to this territory here and claim that territory. And that's going to really tick off the uh, lightning bolt people. But what can you do? Okay, so one idle army. Where the hell is he? He's up here. Might head down. See what's happening. Oh. Oh, he's a cog. Yeah, he needs to be on the coast. Okay, dang it. He's got... F uh, okay. I completely forgot about him. So I can end the turn there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do right now is uh, move on and uh, end the stream. Had a nice uh, hours of, uh, of fun with Humankind. I'm really, really enjoying the game. Uh, I like this. Uh, the, uh, the cinematics are great. Um, I was going to take a, a unit and move them between the train station. I noticed there's a nice little train there. Hello, train. Hello, train. I see you, train. Let's see. Okay, so he goes into this building. This is a nice train station. Let's see if another train shows up. Hello, train. More trains. I can see the train track. There's a, a horse and cart on the train track. Oh, oh, there's a train. Hello, train. How are you? How are you, Mr. Train? Coming into my city. There's one. Let's see how many trains are there. There's another stay. There's another train. Oh, that's a nice long train. Another train. Yay. Okay, let's see if these... Let's see what happens when the train... Okay, it's got a nice little... Uh, oh... Nice little um, trellis there. Now here we have a... This is going to be interesting. I've got a train versus a horse-drawn cart. Okay, everybody ready? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen with that one. Nothing's going to happen with that one. Okay, so that was uh, interesting. Got some trains. Um, actually, let me real quickly, before I pop to the next guy, I, I've got four era stars. I've got, I got one for population. Getting up to 92, that's not too bad. I've got one for building districts, which uh, I thought was great until it hit my stability. And then I've got another for expansionist. Uh, that's because I took that one city or forced that um, other civilization to give me that. So I don't know. I'm not going to get three more territories. At some point I might get another 3,000 influence. Three more districts. I'm almost certainly going to do that. I'm going to have to really slow down on that though. Uh, just because of the stability problems. Agrarian, so I need another 40 people. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to get the money. I'm not going to defeat units, and I am going to get there on uh, Scientist Stars. Uh, I'll show you how I do that next time. So I, that will work next time. Say goodbye to the trains, and I will see you guys uh, later.